This video is about cones, cylinders, and spheres. A cylinder is a three-dimensional figure that has a pair of bases. In the picture of the pink cylinder, we see a base at the top and the bottom. These bases are congruent, the same size and shape. They're parallel to each other, and we call them curvilinear, which means they're some sort of circularish kind of form. This may be circular, oval, or another curvy shape, as shown in the concave cylinder at the bottom. The green highlighted base is sort of the kidney bean shape, but because it doesn't have straight edges, it's curvilinear, this can be a base of a cylinder. We name cylinders by their orientation, are they right or oblique, and their shape, are they convex or concave. In a cylinder, we call the flat part a base and the curved part a lateral surface. It gets really weird when we talk about faces or edges of cylinders, as up to this point, we've considered a face to be a polygonal shape, polygonal shape of a polyhedron, and a vertex to be the intersection of two edges of a polyhedron. Um, this doesn't make sense for a cylinder, and so often we just call them bases and lateral surface to not get them confused with how we've been using vertex faces and edges on polyhedron. However, we can call the bases faces because they are a flat section, and we can call the lateral surface a face if we consider that it can be a curved piece. We can call the boundary between the bases and the lateral surface an edge if we want, but again, it gets really kind of crazy. A cone is a three-dimensional figure that has a curvilinear base. Remember, that means it can be circular, oval, or squiggly like a kidney bean. Um, and this base then raises to a single point, which we often call the apex. A cone can be concave or convex. It can be right or oblique, and we see several pictures here, including the orientation of the purple cone, which is laying on its side, if we think about a, a, a real-world example, but it's still a cone. Again, it gets really weird when we talk about faces, edges, or vertices of a cone, um, because we've already sort of defined them for polyhedron. That's why it's preferred to call them a base instead of a face to call it the lateral surface instead of a face, and to call it the apex instead of a vertex. Then we kind of know exactly what we're talking about, but you will see multiple use of these terms in books and online. Cones and cylinders can be made using paper nets. The one to the left below is for a right circular cone. We can see the base is a circle, and it's attached to the lateral surface that will roll up to become the cone part, the slanted part, um, and then we can fold the base underneath it. On the right is a net for a right um, cylinder. Notice that we will roll up the part near the H to make the curved part, and then we would fold the two bases over to complete the cylinder. A sphere is a three-dimensional figure that is made up of all the points in space that are a specific distance from the center. So if we pick where the center of our sphere is going to be and then we mark every single spot that's exactly six inches away from that center, we would have the shell of the sphere. And mathematically speaking, a sphere is only the shell. It is not a solid. We can talk about three-dimensional solids where our sphere might be like a malted milk ball. But really, mathematically, the sphere is only the shell part or the surface of the shell. It does not include anything inside. The distance from the center to the outside of the sphere or the, the shell is called the radius. And we, we measure across the sphere at its fattest point, which would be through the center of the sphere. That's called the diameter. We'll revisit these terms when we talk about circles and later on do volume of spheres. A sphere does not have any edges or any vertices. We don't consider it having any faces, although I guess you could argue that it has one lateral face. We usually just call that the surface area of a sphere. And there is not a net that you could cut out, fold up, and tape to make the shape. If you have any questions about these things, I encourage you to bring it up in class.